Hello there guys, welcome to the channel where today we will count down every member of the 212th Attack Battalion. The most famous elite clone squad that fought during the Clone Wars led by none other than the tragic Commander Cody. We have talked a lot about poor Cody, how he fell into depression after the Republic ended, but during the Clone Wars, a war he was bred for, he loved it and so did his brothers. Together they made up the 212th Battalion and if you guys are up for it, let's start naming them one by one and talk about their lives a bit. Now stay till the end because I have a big surprise for you guys, okay? Now we know the leader of the 212, of course, it was Cody. What else can we say about him? He served the trolling master all the way till the end. The end of course being Order 66 where their relationship was severely damaged since, you know, now Cody was trying to kill Obi-Wan, troll and Obi. With him out of the way, let's start with the others. Barley. Barlex. Barlex was a sergeant and part of the paratrooper 2nd Airborne Company. This paratrooper company was itself part of the 212th and we saw them in the attack on Utabao in Revenge of the Sith. All you have to know about Barlex is that he hated the Mandalorians and their culture. Even though he was basically a clone of a Mandalorian, he had lost a lot of his brothers to the Mandalorian thugs. Boyle. Now, Boyle was a bit of a racist or I should say specious that First, let me explain. During the Battle of Ryloth, Boyle displayed a very by-the-book attitude and when things went against his beliefs, he was easily annoyed and often responded with sarcasm because, you know, he was hardened by the war and was eager for combat. But Boyle did not have much compassion for the people of Ryloth at first. He sometimes used the derogatory term tailheads when referring to them and looking at their helplessness as a weakness rather than feeling compassion at times. Naturally, later on he grew in his maturity as the battle waged on, but an interesting tidbit about him nonetheless. Gear Shift. This clone is virtually unknown, guys, other than if I point him out to you. He served under Commander Cody and the biggest mission he attended was on Geonosis when the Republic destroyed factories that were run by the Separatist Poggle the Lesser. One thing we know about him is that he hated the tunnels and loved it whenever they were on solid ground. Longshot. Longshot was part of the team that attempted to rescue Jedi Master Evan Peel, who was being held captive in a prison by the Confederacy. Longshot was then killed in the Citadel when an electrified wall closed in on the rescue team, electrocuting him too in the process. Trapper. Trapper was there when the Zillow Beast awoke. He served Mace Windu at the time when the Republic released the Electro Proton Bomb and then decimated the droids. Trapper stood on the Zillow Beast when he awoke and we all know what happened to that situation but later on he also served on the second battle of geonosis waxer unfortunately this story is quite sad Alexa, play Despacito 2. No, but on a serious note, we all know the Umbara arc and the biggest treason to happen during the Clone Wars. Pong Krell got Waxer killed on that planet, lying to Waxer that the Umbarans had stolen clone armor and were disguised as clones. He had orders to kill. In fact, he was fighting his own brothers, the 501st, and in that short battle, he died as a result. When he learned that he killed some of his brothers, he shed a single tear before dying. Wooly. When Obi-Wan ordered Cody to take the best scouts in the Ghost Company to recon the area, Cody chose Wooly. That's how valuable he was to the team. He was chosen for their mission on Ryloth where we saw Wooly. But this clone also had no problem questioning some ideas that his commander had. Sometime he spoke against it or rather doubted it. Last but not least, Gregor. Gregor was a clone commando who served as a captain in the 200 and 12th attack battalion during the Clone Wars. At one point he suffered amnesia when their forces were defeated by the Separatists on the planet Sarish. Gregor eventually ended up on the Outer Rim world of Abafar where a Celestin took advantage of the clone's lack of memory and employed him as a dishwasher at his diner. Later on he regained his memory and went on to serve in the Clone Wars again. However, he is one of the few that removed their ships and continued to live in freedom after Order 66 was executed together with Rex and Wolf. So you might think this is over, but bonus content. 
That's right guys, we have bonus content for this video. What you see here is every clone that we mentioned and every episode that they appeared on in the Clone Wars series. Watch out for the next video. There might be bonus content there too. Hmm, you never know. All right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day my friends and may the force be with you always.